My name is Dr. Bill Loudon. I'm a pediatric neurosurgeon at Children's Hospital of Orange County. Today I'm going to discuss children with craniosynostosis. Craniosynostosis is an abnormal premature closure of the sutures or the spaces between the bones in a child's head. A child will grow so rapidly that they'll approach about 90% of their final head growth within the first year of life. If, however, during this rapid growth, one of these sutures closes, it causes the head to grow in an abnormal way. The increased pressure within the skull then can cause problems in development, it can cause problems with vision. Craniosynostosis, therefore, is not just a cosmetic issue, it's also a neurosurgical concern for the development of the young brain. More recently, pediatric neurosurgeons have worked to develop minimally invasive ways to perform the craniosynostosis surgeries. Using tools such as an endoscope, which is a small operating telescope, we can make minimal incisions and do the appropriate necessary bone work to fix the craniosynostosis. We strive to have these children appear completely normal by the time they reach adulthood. Some children are born with more syndromic problems. These are often associated with more complex forms of craniosynostosis that may involve multiple sutures and therefore have truly problematic shapes to their heads. We still strive to correct the shapes of these heads as much as possible. These syndromic children often have many other associated problems as well. Some of these children may have deformities in their extremities that may also require cosmetic surgeries.